Here's a normal coral reef. And here's what a coral reef could look like if these new ocean mobs were added to Minecraft. Meet the Thrasher. It's like a shark, but with sonar powers. It'll hunt anything that moves. And when it catches its prey, it, uh, well, it thrashes. Ah, it thrashes a lot! If you brave the depths and slay one of these beasts, you'll be rewarded with crafting ingredients for the trident. An easier way to get the trident than fighting waves of drowned. Now, these vibrant sea villages are home to mermorphs, villagers of the water. These friendly fish-like folks love trading for aquamarine. Now, this might seem horrible, but you can actually turn villagers into mermorphs. Just use a splash potion of water breathing and a heart of the sea. As long as it's raining or they're in water, voila, you've got a mermorph villager. And <laughs> don't worry, the transformation is painless. Well, probably. Thankfully, once turned, these dwellers will have the Coral Golem to protect them. This formidable Golem of the Depths has a strong sense of duty. Created like other Golems, but using Prismarine, this neutral entity patiently awaits its purpose, to defeat any drowned it sees. And it doesn't mess around, as it gains increased speed in the water when it detects one. Though it won't harm this unicorn of the sea, the mystical Narwhal. This peaceful creature primarily munches on small fish, but it has a special fondness for salmon, which can be used to befriend them. Interestingly, narwhals aren't afraid to show their might against threats like guardians, and can even harness the power of their tusks to break through blocks. <laughs> Easy there, pal. <laughs> Easy there! <laughs> In the deepest depths of the ocean, one feral creature still lurks that, that, ooh, huh, what a pretty light. Why do I want to go towards it so bad? Ah, the deceptive anglerfish. With its eerie presence, it sports an illuminating appendage dangling in front of its face, which serves as a deadly lure to all other kinds of fish. And when these fish or players get too close, the anglerfish's predatory instincts come to life as it chases its prey relentlessly. So beware the anglerfish, for its mesmerizing glow hides a terrible fate. Whatever you do, don't go into the light. Now, I was gonna tell you about a special octopus I found, but I don't remember where I left it. Oh, there you are. As you can see, the mimic octopus likes to camouflage on whatever block it's on top of. But that's not all. If a player gives the octopus enough lobster tails, they can actually tame it. What's really fun about having a pet mimic octopus, though, is that you can scare your friends with its other ability to look like mobs. Or even a creeper. <laughs> you, uh, you know those old myths about sea serpents? Well, they're all true. Meet the sea serpent, a rare and magnificent but deadly creature. Quick and unpredictable, it can attack smaller mobs and, unfortunately, players. There is a silver lining, though. These serpents get full, so if you encounter one and it's just had a big meal, consider yourself lucky. It'll probably leave you alone. <gasps> oh, boy. <laughs> that was close. Oh no, during thunderstorms, whales can occasionally get stranded on beaches. Though, you can guide them back to the water, and they'll reward you with valuable amber keys. But don't mistake their gentle demeanor and generosity for weakness. When provoked, they unleash devastating bites and rams, breaking through ice and wooden blocks. And you're not the only thing that the whale will battle with. That's because orcas will seek out baby whales and attempt to prey on them. I wouldn't want to get caught in the middle of one of these fights. Though, if you find yourself cornered by a group of drowned, an orca could actually save your life. Not only do they fight back against them, but they provide the player with orca's might, a status effect that increases melee attack speed. Just watch out where you swing. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ah! Now, exploring the depths of the ocean, you might run into the mesmerizing giant glow squid. With its captivating bioluminescence, this is a real beauty to behold. Very seldomly, this creature will emerge from the depths to find food. And be careful, as it uses its colors to lure unsuspecting players to their doom. Because once spotted, this creature swiftly drags its victims down to the depths of the ocean, ensuring they're never seen from again. Well, at least you're safe in a boat. Though above these waters lives the maw. This ferocious fish-like creature can be found hopping around on land at night. Now, they'll leap at anything they see as a threat or a meal, and they've got a crushing bite. But if you're brave enough to face one, then you might be rewarded with some fins or even a slime ball. I wonder if it can be tamed. Ow! Eh, 
Okay, okay, I'm leaving! <laughs> oh, well, look at this Jello fellow. Though he normally looks like this. Ugh, gray and compressed. I think he's smiling at me? I can't tell. The feeding one allows you to craft fish oil, which you can then pour on yourself to levitate in water or in rain. Want to keep this one as a pet? Ah, uh, well, just remember to rub a slime ball on it. Then it can stay on land forever. And it'll want to, because the land is safer than staying in these waters with the true king of the ocean. Sharks roam the seas in search of prey, be it peaceful fish, unsuspecting players, or even other hostile mobs like Drowned and Guardians. Always on the hunt, it zeroes in on the weakest victim. So you'll want to make sure you've got your health topped off. This sea beast is also drawn to boats and loves to smash them to pieces. Hey! I just crafted that. Well, at least I have another. Shoot. <clears throat> ah, maybe I'll just stay on land. You know, where it's safe. Ah! Looks like the eel is a creature that stalks beaches. How great! En engaging in combat with this beast is a difficult task as they possess a unique ability to heal based off the damage they inflict. With a powerful roar, it can send its adversaries flying backwards before retreating underground only to emerge again. Okay, <laughs> I've had enough of this guy. <laughs> Whoa, hey, what's that? Oh, finally! Let me introduce you to something cute, the chubby seal. While they love a good nap on sand or ice, they'll dive into the water in an instant if they sense danger, like an approaching polar bear or an orca. But here's the cool thing. If you treat a seal to three pieces of fish, it'll dart into the water and bring you back a little present. Wow, you shouldn't have. Huh, thanks, buddy. Now, what's that noise? Is that a seagull? Ah! These rats with wings are passive, but I'll attempt to steal any unsuspecting player's food right from their hotbar if they're not careful. Now I understand why those clownfish didn't want a piece of these guys. Though, I guess they can be of some use. If you throw them a lobster tail, this will make them fly towards any buried treasure, similar to an eye of ender. Now, you may hate drowning, but this guy lives for it. Originally featured in the first ever mob boat, the barnacle was beat out by the phantom, one of my personal least favorite mobs. Though, this guy might actually be worse. This creature will attack anything without even being provoked. Not even those winged rats are safe. Serves them right for stealing my food. But what's that? The Kraken is a sea monster that has the same amount of health as a warden and only spawns during ocean storms. You may think you're ready for this fight, but no one stands a chance once this Goliath beast grabs hold of you. It's kind of similar to the barnacle in that way, but it has the potential to eat you whole. So it's best not to get lost in a storm. Shoot, here goes my gear. Oh, now, where did I leave my other tools? Oh, right, yeah. there we go. <laughs> Turns out catfish can make great early game storage with their ability to hold stacks of items and blocks in their mouth. They come in three sizes, small, which is capable of holding three stacks, medium, which is capable of holding nine stacks, and finally, large, which is actually capable of holding an entire mob in its mouth. Now, these guys can actually be captured in a bucket and still hold the items that are stored in them, which is pretty great. Now, I just need to figure out which one of you has my sword. Now, unlike catfish, lobsters spawn in a variety of colors. Black and white are the rarest, but blue and what we call a half and half are very rare as well. These little guys fit in a bucket for easy carrying, which would be great if they weren't so useless. Mantis shrimp, on the other hand, now they'll break any block in the ocean that the player gives them. And they're tameable by using tropical fish and sneaking up to them. Then they'll seek out any block the player has given them to collect it for them. Pretty neat. Just don't punch these oversized shrimp by accident, because this will alert all of them in the area to uh, attack you. Like this classic predator of the ocean, the hammerhead shark. Similar to the real world, these beasts will only attack if they sense blood in the water. So I'm glad I put a bandage on those earlier cuts. <laughs> wait, wait, why are you getting closer? No, no, bad shark. Uh, uh, luckily, I have some fish that I can use to ward off his attack. These guys can't get enough of the things. Whew. And I can't get enough of these flying fish. These creatures amaze me as they breach the water and glide through the air. 
They're so majestic and so unbelievable to those who've never seen one, which is why I'm going to catch some in this bucket to show my friends. See, I told you I wasn't lying. Wait, that's not right. Where'd he go? Now, just when you thought you've seen it all, the oarfish. Half fish, half oar? Eh. Well, maybe not, but this creature provides dolphins grace to those in boats and fights off any hostile mob or fish that gets too close. Just don't hit it unless you want to face the wrath of its powerful tail. Now, check out this sleek manta ray. These incredible creatures are naturally passive and will actually do their best to avoid any confrontation. So I would feel kind of bad about killing them, though they do drop great loot. I guess I'll just leave that up for you to discover. Whoa, what was that? Oh, must have been a tuna. This is the fastest of the creatures we're gonna cover. These guys move at a top speed that's triple the normal sprint. Catching them is near impossible, and you'd be lucky to land a sword strike. Obtaining one will grant you full hunger and a random effect. Netherite seems to do the trick for me. Above these waters are the delightful penguins, spawning in lively flocks. With their unique tuxedo-like appearance, these charming creatures are more than comfortable in both land and water. Penguins are known for their exceptional swimming skills, as they are some of the fastest mobs in the water, especially when pursuing their favorite prey, which is, well, any fish they can get their hands on. Or should I say flippers? <laughs> Hey, remember the narwhals of the Arctic Ocean? Well, it's time to meet their much more aggressive cousin, the swordfish. These predators like to lay claim on whatever ocean chunk they spawn in, and they'll even fight over their territory with other swordfish in intense duels. They also like to- Ow! Hey! Oh, I see. You wanna go, tough guy? All right, here we go! Yeah! Yeah! Ow! Okay, okay, I surrender! Ow! I said I surrender! I've had enough of swords! Ah, shoot. Well, avast. I guess the high seas are full of pirates as well. Ugh, they're a diverse bunch of villagers in search of fortune and plunder. And what's a ship without its captain? He's the epitome of agility and swiftness, leading their crew with a cutlass in hand. Their melee attacks strike fear into the hearts of even the most seasoned players. So beware any pirates, for they bring a formidable challenge to those who dare cross their path. 